Hello humans and welcome to episode 18 of Chef Mike Does Stuff. I of course am Chef Mike as you can clearly read on my chef coat. Today, thanks to my buddy Derek, the QA tester extraordinaire at NetherRealm Studios. Shout out to uh, Ed Boon and, and all the Mortal Kombat fans out there. Um, he wanted me to do an amped up ramen using the little packets that he loves so much. So this is a 25 cent package of ramen. And basically we're just gonna add stuff to it to make it amped up, to make it leveled up. I've got some beef short rib that I'm going to grill. I'm gonna grill it off camera. We'll get into grilling of meat and steaks at another date, but you can use whatever meats or vegetables or whatever you want in there. Um, I'm of course using beef ramen because I am putting uh, beef on top of it. And then I've got some cabbage, some green onions, some bell peppers, uh, and I've got some parsley. And I'll actually go ahead and kind of cut those on camera just to see uh, some different options we have there. So once again, thanks everybody for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, retweeting, letting people know about Chef Mike Does Stuff. If you are a brand or if you have a product or if you have equipment that that you would like featured on Chef Mike Does Stuff. Let's see, last time, I think I gotta go this way or this way. I don't remember, but I'll put my contact info up right there so you can uh, reach out and I can obviously uh, work with you to get your products here on camera. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the cutting board. I'm gonna bring the hot cooked ramen to the table as well as I will have my short rib already grilled uh, and I will slice that on camera and we'll make a little fancy ramen bowl. So I will see you in, I don't know, 20 seconds. All right, we are at the cutting board. For me, it was maybe 12 minutes. I had to cook the steak, get the ramen ready. For you, it was instantaneous. So first of all, this is our cooked hot bowl of beef ramen, cooked to the package instructions. That's it, that's all you have to do with that. And we're gonna plus it up. So, I've got a couple ingredients here. First of all, red cabbage, we're gonna add some. now. This recipe I use almost exclusively to get rid of leftovers. So normally I might have a little leftover red cabbage, a little leftover pepper, maybe beef, chicken, uh, some kind of uh, center of the plate vegetable. I don't know what I got, but that is when I would add it to this ramen. So I'm gonna use only a portion of this and the rest of it I'm gonna use in other stuff. So for something like red cabbage, and if we think we're only making one portion, normally I might have a big batch or something, but I'm just gonna cut a little piece off like so. I'm gonna save the rest of that for later. And nice little strips. Make sure that you wash all your produce ahead of time. You don't want any, uh, you know, anything super gross or dirty in your food because that would be weird. So I'm taking the real big ones out, but I've got this pile here. Uh, and basically we really have four ingredients in the steak. Uh, peppers, onions, parsley, and cabbage. So basically, like a clock, I'm gonna painter's palette uh, these ingredients here. So basically, I'm almost gonna outline. You got something right there. You got something about right there. I got steak on my hands. Well, that's kind of gross. That's not good to show. What are you gonna do? I'm cooking for myself. And then, just fill in that little section. What's awesome about this recipe as well is it's not really a recipe. You do whatever the heck you want. I am using uncooked cold ingredients so that when I mix it through the ramen bowl, the broth is gonna heat it up just enough, but the vegetables are gonna be nice and crispy. Um, you could saute a bunch of vegetables up. You could saute the vegetables in the same pan you put the, the broth in that you're gonna make the ramen. So you have a bunch of cooked stuff in there as well. Um, so you do you, you add whatever the heck you want. Uh, but like I said, this is best uh, for a leftover. Next, let me wipe off the cutting board a little bit, get some of that off. There we are. So we've got a quarter done already. Red and what is this, yellow and orange kind of-ish, yellow orange-ish. Um, couple different ways you could cut it. Traditionally, some people will just cut, let's say, like so. You do want to keep away the white part that's kind of bitter and there's a bunch of seeds in it. So this is a way and we can slice this up. Some fancier folk may want to roll cut it. So you can absolutely just do something like so. 
And then you have delicious, beautiful red pepper. This is ready to go. You could even, if you don't want to waste as much, cut off the parts that look usable. So you could even cut around the side there uh, to get pieces if you want like that. So just some options. That might be a little slightly more advanced for uh, some of you, but hey, you do what you got to do. This is one of those that if you have a really sharp knife, it really doesn't matter. But if your knife is slightly less than sharp, you're going to want to put the shiny side down. All right. And cut on the inside. This you have a much bigger chance of slipping uh, the knife and cutting yourself versus this way. Like so. I do it relatively thin. Um, I'm going to keep them all relatively the same kind of size piece as well. Um, so I've got my little little bit of yellow orange pepper there. A little bit of red pepper right there. And once again, just kind of going to rock and roll. It might be a little bit bigger than that little section. So it might look a little, uh, a little weird. But hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're not making, we're not Picasso here. We're not uh, displaying this anywhere. We're putting it in your belly. That's all that matters. So, like that. Maybe I'll add one more red pepper just to make it look pretty. Like so. There you go. I'm going to use all this. Uh, I think I've got some Italian sausage in the fridge. I'm going to do sausage and peppers. Awesome. Green onions. Okay. Now everything I have here has been washed. Let's see. I'm going to take just one green onion for now. Camera gets a little shaky because it's my phone is on a tripod. The microphone is connected. The cord runs around the side. So sometimes when I move and shake, I hit the cord. Camera jiggles. What are you going to do? Now you do you, you can use this entire whole thing if you want. But for me, this upper part here is a little more fibrous. It's a little more um, like crunchy. Um, I would use that more in kind of a cooked uh, kind of scenario so that it, it breaks down and cooks a little bit. But like I said, you don't want to necessarily waste anything. So you can totally use as much or as little as you want. For me, the money is basically from here to here. So I might cut just a little bit more off. Here we go. Uh, one of the other things I'm going to do is cut it on an angle. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm making the pieces a lot longer than if I just cut it. So it will kind of match a little bit this type of cut here as well. So things look a little more even. So you do it nice and long like this. Look at how easy this is. And for any of you aspiring chefs out there that I don't know need to work on your knife skills, if there's anyone out there in particular who I may be referencing, this would be a great recipe for you to do that. So I got a little pile of green onion. I'm going to put that just right here. Like so. Right. Once again, you can use sauteed onions, you could use red onions, you could use whatever you want. You could use, you know, you don't have to make this an Asian inspired dish. Once again, you can use barbecue, you could do Italian inspired, Mediterranean inspired, whatever you so desire. Now I washed and dried all these and run them through a salad spinner. So this is my parsley. What's awesome about this is you don't have to do a darn thing other than pick it. So what I will usually do, and a lot of times, a lot of fancy restaurants that are using herbs will just pick off the money pieces like so. So those are going to go in. And I would save the stems for soups and sauces and stocks. Look at this. I got a big old pile of vegetables over here. So I am certainly going to be making some soups and stocks uh, coming up soon. All you got to do is pick it. Once again, though... Um, you should probably want to use, especially if you're cooking for yourself, cooking for one, like my buddy Derek uh, always does. Um, it's probably better to use leftovers than to buy a bunch of these ingredients to then uh, cut it up. You're going to have a lot of leftovers. If you were to specifically buy, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You got it. You got it. And look, at you see this piece right here? I'm going to still use it. 
it's not as delightful as the rest, but we're not in a place to be, uh, you know, there's not a Michelin star restaurant or anything. So there you go. There's some greens for you. Okay. So you know what? Here. You know what? Just because I'm going to leave that one out. Or I should hide it underneath. Okay. We've got that right there. The final thing we are going to do is I have that beef short rib, like so. Cooked, grilled, just salt and pepper, super easy. I'm going to cut it nice and thin, okay? What I'm going to try to do is to keep it uh, all in uniform uh, order as well, so that when I lay this on uh, my ramen bowl, it's going to look super nice, awesome, and pretty. Use any beef you want. But for those who don't eat beef, I don't want you to get mad that I do a lot of beef stuff because I, in fact, eat beef. But, like, I'm going to eat this piece right here. Mm, delicious, tender, juicy. Um, use chicken. Use fish. Use um, plant-based proteins. Use mushrooms. Tofu. Whatever you want, whatever you got. I just recommend pairing it with the appropriate ramen packet. I know they have a soy sauce flavored one. I'm not sure if that's vegan uh, or vegetarian. But yeah, you can find uh, whatever you want there. Okay. Short rib. I'm going to eat this little end piece too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So we got our short rib here. And you know what? I'm going to eat that piece too. I'm going to leave that on. If you are cooking for somebody else, you probably would want to wear some gloves for this part, but. Here is the beef. Simply lay it across like so. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do, and then we're all done, and I could just eat it, which is fantastic, is I like a little spice, and I also, uh, you know, love using chili flake in quite a lot of my cooking. So I'm just going to sprinkle little chili flake over the top. That's going to give some nice color as well. Going to give it a little nice heat to the broth. This is one of those ingredients too. You could also add to the water. So that way um, the broth itself has a lot more uh, heat to it, which will give you a bunch of heat throughout. So that's it. I took a ramen packet, which is probably 29 cents. If you buy them single, you could probably get them for 18 and a half cents per packet. Normally, uh, obviously I had a big bunch of vegetables over here, but normally I would use leftover vegetables and just put in whatever the heck I want. So I am going to take a fancy picture of this because I only make one. Uh, then I'm going to eat it in front of you and then I'll turn the camera off and eat it for lunch because that's what I always do. So I will see you in a minute. And just like that, where am I looking? Where's the camera? So I'm using the iPhone and I keep looking at like the, the stop and record button, even though the camera is over here. <sighs> Amateur, that's noob, I did it again. I could literally watch myself do it. Anyway, now you have a leveled up, plus, plus up ramen bowl uh, with some grilled short rib, some red cabbage, some red and orange yellowish peppers, some parsley, and some green onions. But once again, the mo I looked over there. Once again, the most important thing to learn from this is make it however the heck you want it with whatever ingredients you want. There are infinite amount of ways that you can make ramen if you just want the packet and the broth. Do that. If you want to get rid of the broth, make your own broth, add the noodles and make a bowl like this, you can do that too. Change up flavor combinations. Use a bunch of leftovers. You got stored, um, you know, pork belly in your fridge? Well, use that. I'm done talking. You know what the, what the dealio is. So I'm mixing it up. Uh huh. As I splash stuff everywhere. So that hot broth. Uh, is they're gonna soften up and and um, you know some of those flavors are gonna meld together. I'm dropping it all over my table. This is not the easiest thing to do standing up uh, while trying to talk about stuff while using chopsticks. You're not the best at, but you're relatively good with chopsticks. But anyway, so uh, before I forget and I uh, you know eat as much of this as I possibly can. It's a huge bowl. 
If you are, once again, a brand, a manufacturer, a thing, you make equipment, you make uh, ingredients, whatever, feel free to reach out to me at chefmikedoesstuff at gmail.com and I will uh, discuss some options on how we can incorporate your product into a video or perhaps we could do the whole video based off your, uh, your item. I may have an adult beverage uh, coming in soon so I might do three adult beverages with a little shaker action and then I've got to work on my pour and all that. So that's coming up in the future. Um, but once again, make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, I don't know, smoke signals that say Chef Mike does stuff. Ooh, or get one of those airplanes with that little tail on it and just fly around and tell everybody, hey, make sure to watch, like, subscribe, and hit the bell uh, for Chef Mike does stuff. Because you are not going to want to miss, and I'm going to say it again, when Chef Mike does stuff. I almost messed it up. I'm done talking. It's eating time. Yes, you can grill short rib. I don't care what anybody tells you. Braised is delicious as well. That is super good. One of the things before it fades away is I didn't do a whole lot of salt on the meat because that broth, the packet that comes in, it's really salty. Um, so I, as you can see, I didn't really add any seasoning or anything. And that chili flake adds just enough heat to make it extra delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, bye! Ramen bowl ASMR. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now I'm not even looking at the stop thing or the camera. I'm looking at my microphone in the camera to see.